Coronavirus disease 2019, also called COVID-19, is caused by a virus that can be passed from person to person. It first appeared in people in December 2019 and has quickly spread around the world. COVID-19 affects your respiratory system. In some cases, it can cause problems with your lungs, like pneumonia. There is a lot out there about COVID-19. Guidelines and recommendations are changing quickly as we learn more about the virus and how it acts. Does COVID-19 spread? The virus is spread through droplets. So when an infected person coughs or sneezes, they project droplets of the virus out into the air. Those droplets then land on or are breathed in by other people. That's the most common way the virus can spread. Another way it can spread is when those infected droplets land on surfaces like door handles and elevator buttons. If a healthy person touches the surface that has droplets on it, and then touches their eyes, nose, or mouth, it's possible for them to get sick. These are gateways for the virus. So the less you touch them, the less chance there is for the virus to enter your body. That's why everyone keeps saying, don't touch your face. If the virus gets on your skin, like on your hand, you want to wash it off by using soap and water or hand sanitizer before it reaches your eyes, nose, or mouth. It may be possible for a person with COVID-19 to pass the virus to others when they aren't showing signs of being sick. This is called asymptomatic transmission. What are COVID-19 symptoms? Some signs of being sick with COVID-19 are a fever, cough, body aches, and trouble breathing. Some less common symptoms of the virus include headache, sore throat, runny nose, problems with sense of smell or taste, nausea, and diarrhea. I know it can seem like anything can be a symptom of the virus, so if you aren't feeling well, stay home and call your doctor. Most people who get the virus will experience mild symptoms. Some people won't experience any symptoms at all. Most people, including children, who get sick with COVID-19 can recover at home. But for some people, especially people who are 65 and above, people who have other health problems like lung conditions, if you are feeling sick, have a fever, cough, or are having trouble breathing, call your doctor or local urgent care facility. This is important. What should I do if I'm worried I've been exposed? Your chances of exposure to the virus that causes COVID-19 increase if you are within six feet of someone who is infected, about the length of a bed away from them. You live in or have traveled to a location that has a lot of cases, or you were at a crowded event with someone who is infected, like a party. If you think you've been exposed to someone who has COVID-19, but aren't having any symptoms, call your doctor, hospital, local urgent care facility, or public health office. They can tell you what to do next. If you think you might have been exposed and you have symptoms like fever or cough, you should call before going to your doctor's office or to a hospital. Clean doorknobs, countertops, your phone screen, and other items you touch a lot. Lastly, it is a good idea to limit travel to places that have a lot of COVID-19 cases. Okay, let's talk for a quick minute about what doesn't help protect you against COVID-19. It doesn't help to hold your breath if someone sneezes or coughs around you. The virus can be passed in multiple ways, so not breathing around people doesn't really do anything. Spread. I know COVID-19 sounds scary, but there are some good things to keep in mind. For most people, COVID-19 is a mild infection that is not life-threatening. You can do a lot to keep yourself and others healthy by washing your hands, staying away from people who are sick, wearing a face covering, and practicing social distancing. Remember, if you are feeling sick, stay home and call your doctor. By taking these practical steps, you can protect yourself and those around you and help slow the spread of the virus. And you can stay up to date with the latest guidelines and recommendations.